Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how uh, to do some padded uh, padded uh, items. Uh, this in a way will probably turn out to be a dog collar, but you can do it on belts, you can do it on head collars or halters. Um, it's just padding, you know, it's, 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 it's done in lots of different items, even handbags, uh, handles I've seen padding done on. So this is just... Uh, this will probably turn out to be a dog collar. More than likely I'm going to put it in the bin because I tend not to make things these days. But I'm going to kind of do it dog collar size. But as a, just to say, like, you can do it on halters and handbags and it's just padding. So that's all it is. I'm going to show you three different types of uh, types of padding, different uh, different thicknesses in this case. And a slightly different one I'll do on this one. Yeah. Uh, now, to start off with, let me get my millimetre gauge. I'm starting off with a strap of leather. This again can be thin leather or thick leather. It, it depends on the item you're going to make. So in my case, the leather I'm using today, and I'll just show you, is just over four millimeters thick. Yeah. So you can see that one there. So that's four mil thick. Um, the, the the leather I'm using for the padding is just over uh, one and a half, if I remember right. Yep. So that one's about one and a half mil thick. And that's for this thin leather which I'm using for the padding. Let me see if I can get that around there for you. So that's one and a half mil thick. And then the foam insert I'm using. Now the foam insert's a difficult one because really you can use anything at all. I mean, I've seen people use blanket. I'm going to show you um, a way of padding that you don't actually put anything inside it other than the leather itself. Um, so in this case, this is probably the main one. This is a piece of plastisote. Uh, I use this in saddle making, so that's, that's part of the reason I got it there. Now it can be thicker or thinner, it depends what you want. So in order to kind of show you a different thickness, I'm actually going to go silly. I'm going to even put this into the same thing, just to show you what it is. So on the, in one of the dog collars, it's going to be this this um, plastisote. Uh, plastisote is just a, a foam. In my case, it's a sticky back foam, so we'll peel this off. You don't need sticky back, just glue it. It's just in saddle making, I use big pieces and it's far easier and quicker for me to buy a sticky back. But as I say, you don't need sticky back. Now this is working out to be just under four mil thick. Hang on, let me just show you. So again, it's about four mil thick. Oop, there you go, it's about four mil thick, yeah? And, and as I say, it's this plastisote stuff. Now the other stuff, uh, I'm not going to even do uh, how many mils. I'll go straight on to roll off for this one. Um, this has just been silly. This is me just having yeah, a bit of a laugh saying that you can go thicker if you want. Now, it won't look as thick as this when it's on the item, but just to show you, it's about one and a half, uh, one and a half mil thick, just over one and a half mil thick in this case. Uh, and for these people like me who prefer inches, it's five eighths of an inch. When I buy this, that's for five eighths of an inch, yeah. Um, it's only when I get into thinner stuff like this I start talking millimetres. Right, so I'm waffling on. So I'm going to go straight into it uh, and I'm going to do the most common one which is the one using the plastisote to start off with. So as I said, we've got a strap. The padding again, it depends on the item you're making. Now, I've got a little dog collar just here. Just uh, can I show you? It's a little dog collar I've got from uh, from a company, and you can see there's this padded just uh, just all the way along there, and you can see it just from so it starts above the holes in this case. But bear in mind, I'm only showing you how to do padding. So if you're making a handbag, sure you're not going to have holes on it. Um, uh, so as I say, but in this case, this is why I'm going to start here. You will start where you want your padding to start, and you will finish where you want it to finish. So and again here, they get right up to the buckle in this case. One of them, they leave on top, which is the method I'm going to show. And the other method, they actually put under the buckle just at this end here. This is I'm going to show you this method here. Yeah. Um, okay. So again, I know I've said it uh, three times already, uh, this is only padding, make whatever you like on it. So I've decided that I want my pad um, with these holes, I want my pad to start just here, yeah, just on, uh, and just right there. And then I want it to finish, if this was a dog collar, uh, in my case I want it to finish just about here. So I'm going to measure uh, this to tell me the length of pad that I want. So uh, I've decided it's there and I want it to finish. Um, I'm going to finish just a bit short of that there. So I'm going to say the padding in this case I want to be 26 centimetres long. So I've got my piece of leather here already cut. Uh, I've got to cut it down to 26 centimetres. Now I'll show you how I got to that thickness. Uh, yeah, this width that I've got here. Um, basically I get 
Let me do anything at all. Uh, this this will do, man. A piece of leather here. Yeah. So let me just chop this off roughly for you. As I say, I'm off camera there, but this will do for my my measurement. Okay. So what I do is I get uh, what you can do is where's my foam? There's my foam there. So I measure the width of it. In this case, the width of the foam is two centimeters so that's telling me i need this to be four centimeters but then i need a little bit extra over here so it's about four and a half centimeters right well you can my, my strap itself because i didn't show you the strap my strap is going to be uh in centimeters just over one and a half centimeters so when that lies on there i'll show you the white way around i'm going to have a little bit sticking out just at either side here yeah so that's why this ended up one and a half is the idea I want, and this foam uh, I want it wider, and it's coming up to two. Yeah, so as I say, then it'll sit on there, and have a little bit either side of it. Now for the leather that's covering this, uh, we said that's two, so it's four, but then I need a bit for the thickness, so it's about four and a half, uh, and that's only a guess for me. So if I get this piece of leather here, and I wrap it round there, and I come up to that corner right there, and I do a little mark, that's the length that I want it to be, yeah? So if I put that on there, and I would, I guess, four and a half, wasn't it? Oh, hang on, guys. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? Yeah, that was not a bad guess. So four and a half, oops, hang on, I'm off camera, sorry about that. So four and a half is what it is, is going to be. So this, uh, this piece of leather here, he says, hopefully, is, yeah, it's going to be about four and a half, if I can find it. I know it is, there it is. Yeah, so four and a half again in this one. Hang on. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. So it's four and a half going five, in fact. There, yeah, I've already cut it. So that's that one. Length of it I've already forgot because I started waffling there. Let me come back into my ruler. The length I decided I wanted was, I think, 26 centimetres, if I remember right. Yeah, I'm going to go for 26 centimetres. So this is going to be cut 26 centimetres. There you go, pair of scissors, cut that off there on a nice straight line. 26 centimetres is the length I want, which is there. Right, so that's the length of my, that's the length of my padding. For, the, uh, for this uh, here, it's going to just sit in right there. So it's a little tiny bit of padding. Now, that is going to wrap round. I get too many pieces of junk in my way. My foam, I said I think the camera would be probably better on the other side, but far too lazy to move it. I want my foam to just finish short, so let me just show you on this. It's going to be about, I mean, I don't do measurements as most, I'll turn it that way so as you can see, it's going to be about that short uh, on it. In fact, make it maybe make it half an inch short, yeah? So half an inch is going to be in metric. It's going to be just over a centimeter, just over a centimeter short at the end. It's going to be so if we say one and a half centimeters, three centimeters off twenty six. It's twenty three centimeters long. I'm going to cut this. So twenty three centimeters, which is right there. Chop that off. That's it. So that's my twenty three centimeters. I'll do this, I'll do these one at a time, that'll be the easiest bit. Now, fortunate enough for this, this is sticky back as I keep saying to you. So, literally I'm just going to peel it off, you would have to glue it, but uh, because this is sticky back, I'm going to stick it on right in the middle of that leather, uh, leather just right there. There, and there, and that's it in the middle. Next thing I'm going to do, I will do these one at a time, I'll come back to these other colours. So, I'll prep them all different, so let me just turn the board round. This is, uh, MD's seen one of my videos, this is my kind of rubbing up board, uh, because if you look underneath me, my saddle board's all carpeted, sometimes leather, depending on the board I'm working on, uh, and I'm too lazy to go into one of the school other boards. So I use this board, and this is for rubbing up, and then the other side of it is for what I use for gluing. So I'm going to glue this, because I'm going to fold this over, fold this over like this, yeah? So I'm going to glue, uh, no I'm not. I'm being an idiot, guys. When this folds over, Hang on, I'm jumping a gun too far. It's going to fold over like this, uh, but then I don't want it this broad at the bottom here. Yeah, I don't want it this broad down here. I want it actually come in slightly narrow here. So, on the ends here, let me show you where it is. I'm just nipping a tiny piece off, and that'll end up with narrower. 
Same on this side, just a tiny piece off. Up this end, exact same. I do this stuff in automatic mode. When you go into when you go to do it in video, um, oh, you notice I don't really do a lot of measuring. I kind of know what it is. So I don't know if you can see that there. What I've done is I've narrowed it down. Now the idea is that now this will narrow in, and these two ends will come together. And when it comes to my leather, at this end here, you'll see it when I'm putting it together. But this end here, I don't want the leather sticking out like this. What it'll do is it'll tuck in and you won't see it. It's only when it comes to padding is when it comes out. But as I say, see that in a minute. The other thing I've got to do that I forgot to do, so as I say, do as I do here. On this here, I don't want this this thick at this end, so I'm literally just gonna uh, thin it down. Now, this is not my round knife. This is a wife's round knife. Um, I've laid mine down over there somewhere, and this is the first one that came to hand. So, literally just get rid of that. All the hairy bits there, I'm just gonna chop off on the board next to it. Same on this end here. Uh, because it's so thick here, I'm going to thin this end down as well. Yeah. I got to say, that knife isn't that bad. It's, it's, it's reasonably sharp. She's not the greatest at keeping it sharp. She don't really do that much these days. So that's thinned down now. Now I can go back. Now I can go back to gluing it. Right. In here. This is my glue, so I'm just going to glue that. My glue's a little snot. It's cold in here. You probably see the uh, cold coming from my breath. Yeah. Uh, you can, uh, if you want, thin this uh, foam down at either end as well. I, I don't need to do it because the foam's fairly soft, so it's when I machine it, it'll flatten itself down. Like, yeah. So let's leave that to dry for a bit. Uh, well, that's drying, and that's going to be the, the solid for this one here. So I'm just going to throw that to the side. Now the next bit you got is, this is my splitting machine. We know the padding, look, too many colours on the go. We said the padding's going to go 26 centimetres. So what I want to do is thin the leather down uh, ever so slightly uh, shorter than 26, because I want to leave when the leather itself, let me just put that one's gluing over. When the, full, the soft leather comes on, I'll just put that there. Um, because I've thinned it here, I don't want to thin this end down. I'm just going to leave a tiny bit. So if I'm saying 26 centimetres, uh, I'm not two centimetres off. Oh, fireworks outside. There you go. I'm going to near get a Guy Fawkes night here in Scotland. Yeah. So uh, the banging you hear is not me getting shot. Uh, it is uh, fireworks. So yeah, I'm going to uh, 26 centimetres, not two cent. 24 centimetres is where I'm going to thin this through. So I know I want to thin it from here. And then from there, 24 centimetres up. So 24 is up to there. So that's my other mark, just up there. So that'll give me 24 from there to there. This is my split up. Now hopefully I don't take too much off in one go. I'll give you a measure for this. Again, I can do it by eye. Yeah, that's probably not bad there. So I'm thinning this through, as you can see. Flip it back that way. I don't really, as I say, I don't do measurements. I tell you what, I need to swap my glasses over, I get the wrong glasses. I do this all the time. Phew, I see, now I can see. There's my end. Put that off. Right, so what I've done is I've thinned this leather ever so slightly in that gap there. The reason I'm thinning it is because obviously I'm going to bulk it up by putting the padding on the back. So if I left this four mil thick, uh, and then put my padding on it, but a hell of a thick item. Some items you don't, like halters, uh, sometimes you don't thin them down. Uh, so again, that would be your choice on the item you're making. For this little thing here, it'll be far too bulky, so I'm gonna thin it down. You can see I've just taken this piece off here. Uh, let me give you a measurement on this. Uh, yeah, I'll just give you a measurement what I thinned it down to. So if I come up to the thick end here, where, where we were about four, four something. Let me show you. So that's a four something. Now, if I come to the bit I've just thinned, uh, it's just under three, yeah? Whoop, there you are. So it's about two and a half, just under three, thereabouts. And that's probably enough for me. I can go thinner. Uh, it's, as I say, it's personal choice, really. So that's that one thinned down. So the same's gonna happen to this one. I've got this little lip here, I've still got on it, so I'll just nip that off. 
that's it. Just because I had that little loop on there. So now I'm going to glue uh, this piece in here. I'll do it. So just glue in there. That's for my padding to stick on, which is much later. So I'll throw that to the side. This is still still a bit wet, this piece here. So I, let me just thin that through. Yeah, still a bit wet. So we'll leave that again for a minute. We'll go into another head call, uh, another head call, another dog leader, whatever it is I'm making. So that's your pattern for that one. Let's throw that to the side. Uh, and we're gonna go into this uh, silly one that I'm doing, this mega thick pattern, yeah? Uh, and there's another collar, uh, if we want to call it that. Now, my leather for this one, Right, again, same method, because this is thicker, this leather is going to be wider. So in this case, the leather in this one is going to be about six centimetres, I would have thought. Yeah, six centimetres. Uh, six centimetres wide. Now again, how I got to that is, I got a piece of leather, I wrapped it all the way around. I'm starting the middle, all the way around now. And then I met here. Now, this is going to be bigger than six centimetres, but because I'm compressing it, I don't want it this thick, I'm going to knock a bit off it, but let's see what it measures up when I went round. So when I went round there, probably about eight or nine, I would have thought, uh, sorry, about uh, seven or eight, it measures uh, seven, yeah? But because I'm compressing it down, I'm actually going to cut it six, and I have cut it six. So, uh, because, as I say, I leave this, and I know it's going to compress, and so I'll just tighten the leather up a bit on it. So... Same method, let me just see what 26 centimetres looks like. So 26 centimetres from there. Uh, this one's probably going to be a wee bit shorter. It's a shorter collar in this case. Yeah, I'm going to cut this one 24 centimetres. So 24, 23. This is me being silly. I wouldn't normally make something this thickness, something this narrow this thickness. I have done padding this thickness. Right. So that's 24 centimetres. I'm going to do the same for my leather. Um, let me just come up this end. My leather's going to be... No, I don't want that 24. What am I talking about? Hang on, guys. Sorry. Yeah, 24 is my padding set. My padding's 24. This will be slightly shorter. So my leather itself is going to be 24 centimetres, which is there. Let me just chop that off. 24-ish is the way I'm working on this light, yeah. So that's 24 centimetres. Uh, I need my padding to be half an, inch, uh, half an inch shorter, so let me just whip that off. Let me see. Yeah, a tiny bit more off that. I need a bigger screen because I can't really see on this little screen here. So that again shorter. Now the problem with this is if we just fold this over here, then I'm going to have this big bulk up here at this end. See if I can show you. Yeah, because I'm using this thickness. So in this case, I don't want it that bulky. So I'm actually going to thin this down to a little wedge. Yeah. See that? Where are you? So nip it down to a little wedge because uh, I certainly don't want this bulk at the end. Same for this one here. Just to let you know, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm making this up as I go along. So that's it there. Little half inch. So again, for this one, we're going to glue my leather. Let me just glue the leather. This is probably one of the longest videos I've done. You know, I don't normally spend this sort of time in the workshop. I like to spend my time eating cakes and drinking coffee, but that's it. Okay, so on here, we'll glue this because it's not a sticky back. Let that just dry off there. Glue all over me pig in hand. Ah. Get, get rid of that. So we'll let that dry off. Do you know what I didn't do? Yeah, for these that were watching, I never thinned the ends down. Remember I said I've got to thin the ends down? So make sure you thin the ends. Don't do what I'm doing. Just as I said, doing a video is putting me off here. Right, put that over there. Just for safety out of the way. And there's my little bit of leather for that one. So that goes over there. Keep them all together. This one here, yeah, this is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good, this one. Uh, the glue's dried over here. So let me just throw it out, flip my board round. All right, this is one we did earlier, that we did thin the ends. That's my top piece there. Right, so for the pad, 
this is a pad here. I need this, um, I need to get all this glue off my hands. Right, I want this end here and this end up here uh, to be the width of this, yeah? So this uh, we decided in metric was, it's about one and a half centimeters in uh, real money. It's about half an inch thereabouts. It should be five eighths. Wrong way, that's it, time to do it the right way around. So it's about five eighths uh, wide, yeah? So in which case then I want these two ends to be five eighths. Now you can measure it or something, I just don't do it as you know, I just kind of mix some things up as I go. So let's just get that, fold the leather over, make sure it's up. Now you can do it, uh, this might make it easier for you. Um, where's my... Just to make sure you get in the end, this is just a little tandy bone. So get your bone in there. Get, and then just get it up there, yeah, into the end. This, uh, as I say, I don't, I just kind of fold it over, but um, it is easier. And then just flip the whole thing over as it messes with the stickiness. If you don't get it right, and I'll do it, I'll do it, no, I wouldn't do it badly because it's not in this form, I'll just uh, do it. What you'll end up with is air pockets and stuff down here, so make sure it's tight up into, into this corner, yeah, right in here. You don't want air pockets and stuff down there. Make sure it's actually touching the foam itself. So that goes over there. We'll worry about the ends in a second. Now we'll bring this one here over as well. Try and make it more centre than what I'm doing. So again, oh sorry, let me do the bone thing. As I say, I don't do the bone thing, but for you, I think it'll be easier. So do your bone up there. That's it in tight. Flip it over. It's all rough and ready, this uh, job for me. There we go. So that's that up the middle there. Now for these bits in here, these ends here, just flip them into, you got. You can measure your five eights. Uh, it's, let me just show you. I'm guessing it like, you know, so I can move that over. It's just a wee bit tight, so just move that over ever so slightly. That's that one. Same for this end here. Flip it over till you get about five eights. Now if I measure it on there, there you are, it's hidden. So it's five eights, yeah. Oops, did I show you that in camera there? So, that's all it is. So that's my two my two ends done. Now I've got a little bit overlap just here. Yeah. So what you can do is get a knife. I think by now you can tell I don't prep for videos. I literally pick the camera up and go for it. So if I'm unsure about it, use this knife here all the way along. Get rid of that overhang. These two bits, incidentally, in the middle don't have to meet. You can leave them short, yeah, if you want. Just don't cut all the way through the foam. Right, that'll do that. Get that out of the way. Okay, so that's that first pad made, that's that made. Let me flick this board back. Now we've got to glue this pad. There's a couple of ways you can actually do this. I'm going for the glue method in this case. And I want it to stitch, uh, stick on here like this. You can literally just hold it up and if you're good at guessing the machine and just machine it on without gluing. Or you can tack it on and then take the tacks out as you're machining it. If you're hand stitching it, uh, make sure you put your prick marks all the way along here uh, and then glue it. Yeah. So the problem with gluing is... If I glue this uh, wrong, I'm going to get glue right over the sides here, and I don't want to see my glue down here. So literally, I just want a tiny piece of glue down the middle, just enough to hold it, yeah? So, uh, let me see if I can do it with this brush. I've got a wee narrow brush in there, but it's, it's all covered in glue, so I don't want to do it. So, literally, I just want a tiny bit of glue in the centre here, just enough. Uh, as I say, I don't want it to the ends, if I can help it. Obviously, I'm going to get some to the ends, but it'll rub off this glue, so... I said just enough to hold it on now, all the way up to the end here. Picked up a piece of garbage in a way, and down now. So again, we're just going to leave that to dry, and then I'm going to come back to that one. So let's flick back to let's flick back to a big, big, thick thing here. Uh, glue is not quite 100% dry, but it's dry enough. Uh, this needs painted, uh, glued twice. Yeah. So if I put that on there, again, make sure it's in the centre. 
down and then come back to gluing it. So if I glue down this one, see, for all these people that have fast forwarded and missed this bit, they missed all my hilarious jokes. Well, they might be hilarious to me, not to everybody that seems to watch them. Like, yeah, you should see it when I'm doing tap dancing. Right, that goes in there. Throw that to the side again, but just waiting for this glue to dry. So, flick that. Let's go into another one. Rather than hang around. Glue's easy if you're making lots and lots of things. When you're making one or two things, it's difficult. Uh, you got to sit around and wait for it to dry. Okay, there is another method of doing uh, padded work, which is a bit of cheating. Uh, and I've got one here that a company does, uh, and I'll show you in a minute, but I'm going to show you how it's done, and I'll, yeah, I'll show you what it is. Uh, where's my leather for this one? It's this one here, but you'll notice there is no padding, yeah? But I'm going to make it look as if it's padding. Now, let me just show you this one, this uh, item here. You can see this is a padded uh, noseband it was in its day. Um, but it's actually cheap because there is no soft padding in there at all. And I'm going to show you how to do that. All it is, it's actually in there. And I've opened up just to show you. This is a raised one. They put a bit of raisin here. We're not going to raise today. But literally, they've got the leather. And see, the leather they took off the back of this is all they've done is wrapped that in leather and then stuck it back on again. So I'm going to show you that method. Yeah. So uh, we're going for... I want my padding to start, I want my padding to start there, and I want my padding to finish, let me see, I want my padding to finish just about here, yeah, so let me see what that measures, these are all different sizes of strips, uh, I just cut them off uh, for the videos, I say these will probably never be made, fun enough, 26 centimetres is what we're working on again, so we, uh, if that's 26 centimetres, it's going to end up a wee bit, um, a wee bit, uh, uh, God, I forgot the word I'm looking for. A little bit um, longer, yeah, uh, on this. Right. Now, I want to thin this. I just want to make this just a slight different sort of thickness. Take a wee bit more off if I can. I think it's that way. Right. And I'm going to start up here. Oh, you would thin these ends up here as well for a buckle, yeah. But as I say, I'm not going into that. Yeah, I'm just literally just doing this. So I'm taking this off, and I'm going to come up this end here. Where are you? You're about there. Okay. So say so this is a kind of cheat uh, sort of pattern. Okay. Now this one up top here, in this case, I've made it slightly thinner for no reason other than I could, I suppose. It actually works out better for this. Now, let me just do a little measurement. We know the original measurement's four, so I brought that down to, oop, where are you? About two centimetres, yeah? So, so I've cut it about halfway, and this is the off-cut. Hi, guys. Okay, you might notice there's a big jump in the video. Uh, what happened there is I was pretty explaining how to do the piece you've just watched there, and my memory card ran done. So, let me kind of try and catch up. Now, if this doesn't work out for you, just message me and I'll redo this video, but I'm kind of half hoping I can explain it. Uh, uh, and what it is, is this piece of leather, hang on, I'll take it off here. This piece of leather here is the off cut that came off the back of this. So that actually came off of there. Yeah, you can see it measures in there. And all I've done is I've glued it and I've stitched, stuck it onto the, the leather here. So it's not going to have any soft piece in here. And it's like this, uh, this one in here. It's not soft but it gives you the impression it's a padded one, yeah? Um, so, as I say, all I've done is use the off cut from here and I've put it into here, so that's my padding. Then I've glued it, and the exact same as before, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my bone and I'm gonna run it up there, all the way up. And, and the other thing is, don't forget, I've shaped the ends as well, so that it comes into that five eighths. So same on this side, I'm just gonna run that up there job down and then I'm just going to fold it over into the middle get going there we go this is sorry about that it's uh I didn't realize I had some other stuff on the camera 
So again, just fold that over to there. And then that's gonna meet. So that is my false pattern, if you like, yeah? There are companies that does this. Yeah, this is it's not method I actually use. And then I'm gonna fold that. Remember, we want this narrower at this end here. So just fold that in there. Same for this end. I'm just gonna get it, and I'm just gonna fold it in narrower. And then that does it, right. Now, as before, as we did, uh, if you remember this padded one that we did earlier, uh, I'm just gonna glue down here ever so slightly. And then I'm going to let it come uh, come dry. I'm a bit annoyed about that camera running out, you know. So I'm going to uh, crack on, and hopefully it doesn't do it twice. So again, I don't want the glue going to the end. I literally just want it on just to hold it enough. So a little bit of glue all the way down. Just enough to hold it. That'll do me. Get my finger on there. Don't do as I do. I'm sure you get better applicators than me. That goes on now. Right, so I'm going to throw that one to the side until it dries a bit. Uh, I'm going to come onto this one here. We'll, we'll show you your first one. I've still got the other one to do. Actually, no, I won't. I'm going to come onto this big. Remember the big uh, bulky thing I'm having? Now, remember we've done this bone thing. I can't really do the bone because if I did it, the leather would be short. Yeah. So what I'm doing is... Ugh. Oh, and I didn't trim the ends here. So let me just take these edges in a wee bit. Same for that. And I did remember I didn't thin this one either. And I should have thinned the edges of it. So same for this one. In it goes. Knock this end off here. Okay. Right, so this one's going to be a bit messy. I'm, I'm literally folding the leather, trying to get it into the middle. As it goes. Well, this is definitely messy, this one. Same for this one. So, see, I wouldn't normally do this. I'm just showing you that, uh, that yeah, if you want it seriously padded, then you can go somewhere in between what I've done here. Right, so same for this end here. I'm just going to make it meet the middle. In the middle. Get that down in there. If you see what I'm doing, I'm just squeezing it down and over. Down and over. Again, let me just show you up here. This is, a, this is going to be fun for machining, let alone anything else. So say this is me just trying to be funny. All right, so up this end here, flick it in, same again, don't forget I want that five eights. Make sure these ends are in. Now this one I might glue all the way over. It's gonna be fun for doing it. Then down here, get it back into that little five eights, which is the end of the thing. Okay, so now what I've got is a big giant sausage of some sorts. Be interesting to see how this one works out. As I say, I don't normally do this, but I'm just showing you uh, that you can go thicker. Uh, even as thick as if you want, and it, it won't be as bulky as you think it's going to be. So again, in this case, I haven't prepared the leather for this one. This is a, a, a leather, don't forget we've got to thin out the middle in order for this to, uh, to, to fit on here. So the length of it is going to be, I want it to start somewhere about there, and then I want it to finish about there. So let me just thin that through a wee bit. And I'm going to make this back to about three. I don't want it as thin as I've got it. Oop, wrong way. That should do it. There's my line. There's my line. And all the way through. Oh, that's too thin. Let me just knock that through. That's not enough off that, it's still a bit thick for me, so I'm just going to adjust it down a bit, take a wee bit more off. A bit more than that if I can. I've had this splitter for years and years and years. Still the same blade on it, I just keep sharpening it. Okay, knock that to side. Again, that should be thick enough. Take this, 
put my board back, glue down there. My wife will be thinking I've left her. If you hear dancing, that's her happy. Uh, it's about six in the evening here. I'm not normally here this late. Now I'm putting a wee bit of extra glue in this because this is going to be tricky just to get it down. I see there's a big giant sausages thing. It'll be fun when I come to machining it. There you are, just leave that there. Dump that. Throw that to the side. Right. So this is a, a proper padded one if you like, yeah? Uh, and there's a piece of leather for it. So what we're going to do here is, this is, I'm going to start off at this end up here. It doesn't matter which end I start. It's going to go just on there. Right, now what I'm looking at, I'm going to try and do this for the camera. Where are we? About there. What I'm trying to do is, to, if I just put it on there, I'm trying to make sure if I've got an eighth of an inch here, I've got an eighth of an inch over this side. Yeah, so I'm trying to make it level. Normally I wouldn't do it. I do it like this. Yeah, so I don't know if that'll show up. So if I just put that on there, uh, let me see, it's just a wee bit longer, so I'm just going to stretch the whole thing and shorten my padding down. Right, let me just put that on. So that's the padding on. Let me see, where are you? Now I, I know this shows up better on camera. What I'm looking, when I'm looking at this little screen, it all looks dark to me. But it should be the same on both sides. So as I say, this side should be the same as this. And that's it in all tenses, it's padded. What you do want to do at the end here, where it's here, uh, you know, where the end of your padding is, you want a little pattern here for stitching. So rather than just finish in two straight lines, you want to kind of come round the corner. I'm being lazy because I say these ain't ever going to be made. So something. this is just purely for you and the camera. So that's the, the soft one, yeah? Now, if I go back to this one, just to remind you, this is the one that, remember, we took the piece of leather up, the bit where the camera uh, switched itself off. Um, we took the piece of leather off and literally we just wrapped the leather in. Uh, now, again, it's the exact same method. Let me just drop that on there. Let me see how it's going to fit. It'll fit perfect. So if I drop that on there, then I'm going to spin it down. Now, again, get off there. I'm holding this up, and then what I'm doing is just kind of making sure that it's in the centre all the way down now. I got a hell of a lot of glue on this, you know, this is terrible. Uh, so whatever I'm seeing on this side, I want it to see it on that side. And that's it really ready, other than doing a little markup here for machining round. Let me get rid of some of that glue. Uh, so that's that one ready, that's my soft one ready. Now we're just waiting for this big fat thing to dry off, but as you can see there, my glue is still, uh, still wet on it. Uh, so let's give that a little minute. Uh, and then I'll do some tap dancing or something in between while we're waiting for it to glow. I'm going to put you on pause, guys, uh, and I might go away and machine one of these, uh, and then I'll show you what it's like, and then I'll come back and I'll do this one. All right, guys, the glue should be dry now, he says, hopefully. Uh, a bit different because this is, you can see this is not quite centre, so I'm going to kind of try and make it into a centre. Um, so see, this is pretty difficult stuff to do. So I've just got to make sure that my start's up here, uh, up at uh, where my start should be. And then these lines here, you can see they're slightly off. So in order to make sure they're caught, I'm doing this slightly different. I'm going to squeeze the whole thing in and I'm putting my leather down. Can you see that there? So I'm, again, I'm squeezing that in. And what I'm doing here, let me just lift it up again, is I'm still making sure I can see the padding on either side is even. So uh, when I'm doing it, yep. Sticking down, I don't want it sticking down. I'm pushing it in and pushing that down. Now, I'm probably going to have to sort the end of it. Uh, this big stick, thick padding is going to stick out as well, uh, a bit more than the other ones. As I said, I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm just going to show you that uh, even though you do thick, it's probably going to be the softest and it's not going to look as thick. Let's see. This is tricky, so I wouldn't go doing this uh, for your first attempt. Just going to make sure, yep, make sure my end's in right. And it goes right. Make sure that's all in there. Right, that's down. Okay. Now, 
you can see here, big giant silly sausage. Now, what you're going to see when I machine this is you're going to have a, this is going to be a lot wider. So if you were tempted to do it this wide um, and you don't want as much padding out here, then make your strip the same size of leather uh, and not as, not as uh, wider as we did in the other cases. So let me put that in there. Just tidying my ends off here. Right, so I'm going to go away and machine everything and I'll be back in a bit and I'll show you it machining, machined. Okay guys, we're back on. I've machined everything together. Um, it's not a machining video, it was just purely a, a, a padded video. But uh, in hindsight, after doing it, maybe I should have showed you my machine in it as well. But uh, as I said, this is just a kind of gist of it. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is, let me show you this one here. Remember the sticky back plastazo, yeah? So this is the, the one that's uh, is four mil thick and it's a soft plastazo. And this is how you, uh, that's the back of it. Uh, and there's the front of it. And you can see here, if I just squeeze it, let me see if it shows on camera. You can see it's nice and soft. It sticks out the edges and that's uh, how to do it. And then up this end here, I've done a little machine pattern. Uh, I've stitched in brown. Uh, two reasons I've stitched in brown. One is it'll show better on the camera. Uh, and two, I was lazy. Brown was on the machine. Uh, and if I come up this end here, you can see I've just came off the... Oh, hang on. I've just came off the, the back of the, the leather here. So again, that's it there. And it's all nice and squishy and soft. The next one I'm going to show you is... Remember when we use the back of the leather uh, for padding and it's not as a proper pad. So if we squeeze it, this is it here. Uh, which is much the same as this one. The difference is they put a filler in here uh, in order to make it raise. But if we look at this one here, it looks in all intents and purposes as padded. Uh, I'm doing the same here. You can see I've got my gap on either side. Bear in mind we didn't add any extra leather uh, uh, width to it. But I've still got the gap on either side. And the same I've finished it up at the top here. So that's the back of it. And because I thinned the edge down, you see it all looks nice and blended in there. Not the greatest examples of my work, as I say, I'm doing it quickly for videos. I say it's more just to show you the pattern of it. So that is using the leather front of this existing. It's a false pattern, if you like. Back to this one, that's my plastazote one. It's got the, the real soft pattern. And you can see here, this doesn't squeeze as nice. Now, the big thick balloon one, uh, which we use for, you know, the big half inch. Now, I would use that in much wider things, maybe maybe in a halter I might use something as thick as this, but as narrow as I'm making it, I wouldn't normally use this. But I'm saying to what I'm trying to demonstrate is that uh, you can go for your four mil plasters, or you can go five mil, six mil, or you can go as silly as this. I don't know whether that is a mil. Did we measure this mil? I know it's five eighths uh, thick. So the mil on this one uh, is about eight, nine, ten mil or something like that. It's going all the way around. Yeah, it's, it's coming out silly on that. Um, so it's... Uh, now, that there is that one there, yeah? So that's what's inside that one. Uh, and it is, it's, it's fine. And it doesn't look as thick, does it? Remember, it was a big sausage. Because the machine, it, it compresses down and it's really nice and padded. It's really nice and soft around here. Uh, and you can't really see it, but trust me, it's, it's, it's padded. So something like this is good on a, on a halter. But again, you wouldn't have to go. I mean, half inch is probably plenty for a halter, you know, even three eighths. But I'm just being silly by showing you that you can turn a big sausage into, into padding. So just before I, I wind up, just to show you, that's the one that we most people do, which is a four mil plasterzo, uh, nice and squishy on the side. That's the one that's a it's a false one. Uh, now, if I wanted this to stick out more, instead of using uh, the thin leather that I've used, uh, I would use maybe a two point two leather, thicker leather, and because it's thicker, it'll stick out more at the edge here. And this was my big sausage. I know it's a rough choppy video, and I chopped off in the centre a bit because I. Uh, I forgot to empty my camera and stuff, but I'm hoping it's of use to some guy, uh, some of you guys out there, and I hope it helps in some fashion. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, see you again.